I'm going to do Scandal Season 3 Episode 6. I'm um, sorry it's late, but shit, I wasn't hot. So, I just got through watching it, so we're going to go through this thing. So, let's get into it. Millie starts, um, it starts off with Millie. She's doing some kind of tour interview, you know, trying to show that her and Fitz, President Fitz is, um, a united friend or whatever. So, yeah. Then they, this episode kind of have flashbacks and then current situations again. You know how they do it on Scandal. Scandal, it will give you a fucking heart attack. Let me just say that. Scandal, an American horror story, they will give you a damn heart attack. I'm just saying. But, um, great show. Um, they go 15 years back this time, and it's basically trying to get Fitz ready for governor. This is where he meets, um, Cyrus or whatever. So, the first flashback is when he first meets Cyrus. They show him and Millie finally getting along. They was in love 15 years ago. He was trying to get him some. He was trying to make a baby. All that good shit. So, then, current times they show dumbass stupid ass Quinn I'm so ready for Huck to shoot this hole it's not even funny so they um show her at the gun range with Charlie he's teaching her the ins and outs of shooting so yeah whatever so then um Olivia she's leaving home and her phone is ringing so she kind of having a hard time of should she should she answer shouldn't she answer she leave off the door she come back in there and she answers the phone, and it's fixed. So, she really not saying nothing at first, and he's like, say something, say something, please say something. I'm going to hang up if it's not, if you don't say anything. So, she ended up saying something. He's basically, she calls him a stranger. <laughs> she was like, I don't know you. What I thought I knew of you, I, you know, I don't know you. I thought I knew everything about you, but apparently I don't. So, why the hell are you calling me? So, um, he was just like, Basically telling her that he loved her and to stay away from Jake. Now, how can you say you love her and then tell her to stay away from her dude in the same damn sentence? All of that, all of that lovey dovey shit you were saying, Fitz, went out the window when you brought up stay away from Jake. Because now it's like, okay, you love me, but you only love me to make me stop doing what I'm doing. So, he basically tell her, stop fucking with Jake because Jake has a target on his back. Um, she, um, and that he was telling her to stop digging into the Remington thing, Reddington, whatever the shit is called, that little mission. Stop digging into that shit. And, you know, she's pissed off. He, she tells him, like, I'm surrounded by murderers. Because she don't know, at this moment, Olivia is so confused. She don't know what to do. She's scared as shit. All that. So... After he tell her to stop digging and shit, she just hangs up the phone on his ass. Because she like, I ain't got time to be hearing this shit. Same old bullshit. You, I won't answer. You ain't giving them to me. So I really ain't got time to be talking to you. So then they show Olivia and Jake. I guess they at the um, office. And the rest of, rest of the gladiators end up coming. She's telling them um, they have a new client while that other congress lady or whatever is going out of town. They have a new client. So they trying to figure out who it is. Um, and it's Olivia's mom, because she wants to know what the hell happened to her mama. So then they have Millie still doing that damn touring interview, trying to show front or whatever, going around the damn White House, whatever. Then we have a flashback of Cyrus kind of prepping President Fitz and Millie on being a governor or whatever, and they want to say that he's this war hero. As, you know, they want to use his military background into his, him becoming the governor. Fitz is like, no, that's off limits. I don't want you guys to use that. I don't give a damn what y'all use, but that, that one ain't gonna happen. So, everybody looking stupid or whatever. So, then you have the current time. Millie, um, she don't wanna... She tired. She's mad. She's pissed off. She don't wanna keep apologizing in these interviews for Fitz. She is so sick of this shit. She's... This, so, then they trying to find a hooker. Her and, uh... What's his name? Cyrus is trying to find a hooker, I guess, to go after Sally's husband. Because everybody know he, he, he a cheater. So, then she tell him to go to Sally for something. So, Cy, uh, Cyrus go to Sally. He's telling her to go to this Reagan dinner in Iowa. Because they trying to get rid of her or whatever. So, they can plan a little scheme thing they going to do with her husband. So, she takes the bait and say she's going to go. 
or whatever. Then you have James mad at Cyrus because he can't get that interview and he's feeling like he, sh he should have got the interview. Yada, yada, yada. Then you have Olivia telling the gladiators, because I don't like saying them all by one by one. She's telling the gladiators the story about how President Fitz shot down the plane that her mother was on. And she really wants them to make sure that they on board for this because she said this, this shit is dangerous. My daddy is crazy as fuck. He'll kill everybody in here. So then, uh, Quinn, she, uh, she tried to talk to Huck. She's trying to get in on, get in where she can fit in with Huck. She's trying to make, you know, like, hey, I got you. Whatever you need, I got you. Huck is still not fucking with her. He's just like, uh, we gotta be in our conference room. I ain't, come on. So she pissed off now. She really pissed off that he ain't fucking with her. So then, everybody working, trying to find info. They find some info that has, uh, President Fitz's dad's name on it. Then it goes back to a flashback of Fitz and his daddy and they damn daddy issues. And he telling him all the stuff that he had done for him to get him where he's at. He's pissed off that he went to the military and then he was on that mission and he shot the plane down and he had to cover it up. So the daddy's still pissed off about that shit. And then tells him since he covered that shit up, he owns him. Basically. Um, Abby is, uh... She tell Fix Olivia about Fix's dad or whatever, and um about the cover up. So then you could tell that Olivia was like kind of sad or whatever, and you could tell a lot of shit is like starting to take a toll on her. And Abby, I guess, noticed that because she was like, "I'm gonna hug you now. I'm gonna hug you, and you're gonna take it." Cause you know Olivia don't like affection. She is such a strong woman that they don't get to see that side of Olivia. So she goes and hug Olivia, and you could just see Olivia just release. Like, you could just see, like, she just finally was able to breathe for just a moment. So, um, Quinn, she watching Charlie. Charlie watching some damn body else. So he noticed that she watching him, and he goes and kisses her. Because, you know, Charlie is trying to get her in on their side or whatever. So he goes and kisses her, so she, she all up on Charlie now. That's basically like, yes. Somebody is showing her some kind of attention, and that's what she's going, because she's trying to get the attention from Huck, and Huck ain't fucking with her. And so, when somebody else is showing you the attention that somebody else ain't going to show you shit, hey. Um, then you have Millie. She's talking to Sally about her husband groping some woman in the office, and Sally is like, bullshit, my husband didn't do that. You know, Sally know her husband could have did that, but she don't want to take, she don't want to say he did it. So, moving on from that. Millie's back um, doing a tour with the little baby or whatever. She gets promoted because she's telling them to go in the president's office. And when she walk in there, the president's not there. So she pissed off by now. So then they have another flashback of Millie trying to get Cyrus to work for them. Cyrus is just telling her, like, look, if this is what you want, I'm going to give you this tip for free. If this is what you want and you want him to be governor and be president or whatever, you're going to have to quit your job. He's going to have to become your full-time job. So... Hey, current back to the current situation. Miley, uh, Miley, Millie bust up in Cyrus' office, and she wants to know where the fuck he at. Cyrus, like, I don't know where the hell he at, but she just she nervous and shit. She wants to know where he at. She want to know if he gonna show up. I guess to the little party and the interview and all that kind of stuff. Cause she she needs Cyrus. If she's gonna be doing, I mean, not Cyrus. If she's gonna be doing this for the president, she needs the president to play his damn part too. So then you have Harrison and Abby. They go talk to some lady that used to work at the airport. She tells them that they, when um, she checked everybody in or whatever, they had got some guy named David, I mean, Omar Dressen off the um, the plane before the plane had took off. So they got to find this goddamn Omar Dressen dude. So then Charlie called Quinn, asked her on a date, kind of date, whatever, asked her what she was doing tomorrow, whatever. So then Sally... She, her, she get her husband dressed and she's basically telling him, like, keep your dick in your pants. We ain't got time for this shit when we trying to run for election. So then we have Millie doing a flashback. This was like, I felt, the, for the first time, I felt bad for Millie. For the first time, I was just like, oh, shit. The first time, I was just like, damn, I did not see that coming. I mean, well, it's been a couple of times I on Scandal, I say I didn't see this one coming. But this shit, I didn't see coming. And I'm quite sure y'all didn't see this shit coming either. So she in there talking to the drunk ass daddy on how 
everything is gonna, you know, they can how they can work some shit out to get fixed to be governor. He going off. He drunk. He going off about how sorry his son is. Then he was like, I'm gonna tell you something that don't nobody know. That not too many people know. So he tells her about the mission and how fix uh shot down a plane and shit like that. And she was shocked as shit because she didn't see that coming either. Next thing you know, this motherfucker start uh grabbing on her and groping her and she telling him no then this motherfucker rapes her president fitz daddy big jerry raped her i was like are you kidding me like wow that shit was like a shocking moment for scandal history because we didn't see that shit coming um then we had the current situation um or whatever it was current with Millie. Uh, she wanted to know where Fitz was at. She drinking in the office. She pissed off. She cussing him out. Cause now I guess she hadn't thought about the shit that she and went through with his punk ass daddy. And so she drunk. And she's like, you don't know what I went through. You don't know what I gave up. The piece of me that I gave up to be with you and to make sure this works and shit like that. And I just need a friend. Like, cause he basically like, bitch, what you want me to do? And she like, I just need a friend. I just need you to show up for me. I just need you to be there for me for once. So, um, then they show the flashback of Millie coming back into the room after she was raped. And she was trying to go take a shower, but Fitz didn't let her go take a shower. He, um, he was just trying to tell her, like, I don't got time for this. We leaving tomorrow. Fuck all of this. Yada, yada, yada. So, she, like, okay. So, then, um... So they go, they, she just wants them to put up a united front or whatever. Then they go back into the current, um, present time. And they're doing an interview or whatever. And he showed up for her because she was, she, um, was trying to get the, uh, interview changed or whatever. And Fix end up showing up and they end up doing an interview. And the lady was kind of asking her about her stability and why would she come out and say that he was cheating. And you could see that Millie was about to crack. And next thing you know, Fitz just went on an attack. He started talking shit to the damn interviewer later. And was like, you, you know, just basically taking up for Millie. So then you have Olivia. She's um asking about have they found any info on Omar yet. And they like, no. So then you have Quinn and Charlie. They on the lookout. And he basically up in there low-key training her. And he kissed her and tried to get him her to do his dirty work. So, she she with it. She like, I did this shit for her. I can do it for you. Because, you know, this is an adrenaline for her. So, she goes into this building and stabs the damn security guard with this needle and kills the motherfucker. She was freaking out. She just ran out. I'm like, bitch, why is you running? Don't you know it's cameras in here that you gonna fucking run, stupid? So, we'll get into that. But whatever. So then you have flashback of Millie having breakfast with uh Fitz Daddy before Fitz come in. She's bas he trying to apologize. She like shut up. We ain't gonna talk about that shit. But you gonna apologize to your son. You gonna get your son back on your his good your good graces. You gonna support him. him what do, what do you wanna do? We ain't using this military shit. That's what we gonna do. You gonna apologize and we gonna keep it pushing. I was just like, bitch, for real? For a title? No. No, I would have stabbed that nigga in his nuts and cut him off like they did on fucking Sons of Anarchy when they on, on season. I think it was season one when they cut that dude nuts off and melted to him. That's what I would have did to uh, Fitz Daddy. I'm just saying. Um. So then after that, he I guess he gonna apologize to his daddy. Whatever, James. He uh, they end up going to this party or whatever as a united front whatever and when they party in or whatever james comes up to cyrus kind of really needing to talk to cyrus cyrus don't really want to talk to him and cyrus thinking he's still mad about the interview but come to find out james is pissed off because he ain't got fired because he couldn't get basically he didn't get the interview so i think that's why he got fired so then we have um cyrus and they were trying to find a hooker for the, the little cheater husband dude. And since they didn't find her. They was like oh well maybe she's not his type. They looked over and they seen the little hug cheater husband dude. Uh, 
low key flirting with James. So now that's gonna be their way in because they noticed that this man like men. So hey, that's how they gonna probably get James in on being with them since he ain't got fired. He ain't got no damn job and nothing to do. So then you have Fitz. He getting um at the end. This is where it all went down that I was just like, oh, hell yeah. The end shows Fitz getting, like, surveillance info about Olivia. We always think she under surveillance. But then he started reading into more and more info. Then he see a picture of her daddy. As they showed the picture of her daddy, he walking into this military confinement place and comes to find out Olivia Mama is alive. I didn't see that shit coming either. Hey, but it's going to start getting good. That's all I can say. It's going to start getting off the fucking chain. Because now Olivia Mama is going to want to see, um, Olivia Mama going to want to see Olivia. So that shit going to be good. But Quinn, before I go, Quinn, dumbass, that dude, Charlie, set her ass up because after she shot that dude with the needle, Charlie disappeared. Then when she was in the, um, alley about to call Huck. Um, Charlie showed up, and Charlie was like, you don't want to do that. You're part of B613 now. I was like, I knew it. I knew it. So now, it's time for Huck to shoot this bitch in the face. You want to go play with the big dogs? You get get done like the big dogs. I'm just saying, like, come on now. So I'm ready for Huck to take this bitch out. Don't let her come back the next season and try to say she's sorry. We ain't going for that shit. The shit that Abby did with David, that's a whole different situation than what you trying to work for B613 with Olivia Daddy. Come on now. Fuck that. So, but, before I go, another thing, before I go, Millie better go get, go to, go, where, where, what's his name, Maury Povich? <clears throat> because as they had the flashback of Millie giving his thank you speech, uh, I guess he had became governor and she's giving this thank you speech for all the people that were supporting him. Then everybody was getting a drink. She put her drink down. So Fitz was like, you know, why are you not drinking? And she just looked. So he assumed that she was pregnant. She was like, it's too early to tell. He was like, we're going to name the baby uh, Jerry after my daddy. I was like, yes, because that's your daddy baby. I was like, oh, Maury, better call him because we need to know, are you the father? Or are you not the father? For real, for real. Because we, shit, daddy dead now, so we can't test him. I'm just saying. And then if the dude, some percentage gonna come back, because Fitz gonna be the brother. This shit gonna get crazy. This shit gonna get crazy. Anyway, make sh this is my review for Scandal Season 3, Episode 6. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I do everything by the ghetto view. T-H-A, not T-H-E. Make sure you follow my girl, Ashley Miller, at, um... On she's Ashley Miller 1987 on YouTube and on Twitter is Ashley Shy Miller. So make sure y'all check her out. Check out some more love. Check out Tasha C. Um, might be 801. I will never forget my cousin. So check him out. Um, yeah, check out Scotty from Mr. Still Standing. You know I love all my YouTubers and hopefully they love me back. All right, peace.